A trip to coastal Maine should be on everyone's travel bucket list. From amazing scenery to delicious seafood, there's something for everyone. We're the New State Nomads, and in today's episode, we'll be sharing our five must-visit spots for the ultimate coastal Maine road trip. Our first stop is the beautiful coastal town of Kennebunkport, known for its scenic coastline, beautiful lighthouses, delicious seafood, and great wildlife viewing. The waterfront is loaded with unique shops, great local beer, and tons of dining options. But if you only eat one thing while you're here, it has to be a lobster roll, and it has to be from the legendary Clam Shack. The fresh Maine lobster is handpicked every morning, and the meat is split up into cups to make sure that each sandwich has every part of the lobster. It really is the best lobster roll we've ever eaten. Mm. Whoa! We also recommend taking a whale watching tour with New England Eco Adventures. Wow. This is a high-speed trip on a rib boat, which will get you closer to the action much faster. We saw two humpback whales and hundreds of seals on our trip. <laughs> that was actually incredible. <laughs> the whales were so close. Even on a rainy day in Maine, there's lots of fun to be found at the world's first and largest electric railway museum right here in Kennebunkport. At the Seashore Trolley Museum, you can take a three-mile ride on a piece of history, learning all about how these beautifully restored cars helped shape modern-day transportation. If you're looking for fantastic camping in the area, be sure to check out Sandy Pines Campground. You'll find beautiful amenities, large wooded RV sites, and incredibly decorated glamping tents, cabins, and unique retreats. They were voted the best place to go glamping in New England by Travel and Leisure Magazine for a reason. Next, we're scooting up the coast to iconic Old Orchard Beach. With its famous pier and waterfront amusement park, this has been a summer hotspot for decades. Stroll through the midways, grab some ice cream, and take in the sights and sounds of the famous Old Orchard Beach Pier, which first opened to the public in 1898. For great camping just minutes from town, we recommend Paradise Park Resort. Their waterfront RV sites with private decks are perfect for relaxing. Next, just 20 minutes north, you'll come to Portland, Maine, known for its famous Portland Headlight, which happens to be the most photographed lighthouse in the U.S. Incredible seafood and a fascinating history. For being the largest, most populated city in Maine, it's not at all overwhelming and actually quite charming. We recommend taking a history walking tour to get the lay of the land. And of course, you have to indulge in a delicious treat from the Holy Donut. These are unlike any other donuts we've ever had. They're made out of potatoes and are absolutely delicious. One of our favorite things that we did in Maine was to try our hand at lobstering. In Portland, you can go out with Lucky Catch Cruises and get a hands-on experience checking the lobster traps. You can even buy a lobster right off the boat and take it across the street to have it cooked up with all the fixins. These are our lobsters. This is actually really reasonable uh, because to keep the lobsters straight off of the boat, it was two for 25, and then it's only 11.99 for them to cook it and all the fixings. Not bad. For our fourth stop, we're heading to the beautiful mid-coast region of Maine and the town of Damrascada. Known as the Napa Valley of Oysters, you can learn all about the oyster industry while sipping on delicious wines paired with fresh local oysters. But if oysters aren't your cup of tea, there are plenty of other great restaurants in town, like Capacity for a farm-to-table experience. Try a cocktail from their herbal mixologist or a beautiful charcuterie board with local ingredients. There's even a hard kombucha bar in town. Come take a look at this. Oh my gosh, <laughs> wow. This is like a lakefront cabin. This is perfect. For great camping, check out Lake Pemaquid Campground and a trip to visit the iconic Pemaquid Point Lighthouse should be on your list. If you come on a day where the lighthouse is open, you should definitely wait in line and come up because the views are incredible and it's just so neat to see these old styled lenses. This has gone from oil to gas to electric and now LED, and it is still operating today as a active lighthouse. Our fifth stop on our coastal main road trip brings us to Bar Harbor, gateway to Acadia National Park. This resort town is home to tons of great dining options and of course shopping, but for a truly unique experience, try walking on the ocean floor at low tide. The water recedes from Bar Island Land Bridge every day, and you can trek out to see what's hanging out under all that water. Keep your eyes peeled for crabs and snails in the seaweed. And of course, a visit to Acadia National Park is a must. One thing I love the most about the coastline here is just all of the different colors and shapes of the rocks. Like you drive a couple miles down, it looks completely different than where you just were. It's just so cool that it's like constantly changing and evolving. 
Acadia sees on average 4 million visitors a year, landing it in the top 10 of the most visited national parks in the country. With 27 miles of driving road, 158 miles of hiking trails, and 45 miles of carriage roads, there's a lot to explore here. Plus, it's one of the most dog-friendly national parks in the country. And no visit is complete without a trip to Jordan Pond for a famous popover. Enjoy this delicious treat while taking in some of the best views in the park. Walk it all off atop Cadillac Mountain. At 1,530 feet, it's the tallest mountain on the U.S. eastern seaboard.